Hi there, Crystal Thompson here for Color Comments with Crystal. We are finishing up the month with another awesome purple Lee, uh, color combination for today's card we're doing some background stamp heat embossing layers using a really cool unity stamp company background and some die cuts for this card we're going to be using some white card stocks and the awesome botanical background stamp this is a collaboration with uh, Brutus Monroe so it's an oldie but a goodie one I have a couple of die cuts I like to keep all my die cut scraps so I have some zigzags you can use whatever shapes you like such as um uh, little borders or you can even create just strips of little strips of little cardstocks and so we're going to begin by inking up our botanical background stamp set and I love this red rubber because it's so thick and so awesome I'm inking it up with some heat embossing ink I'm going to bring in my white cardstock four and a quarter five and a half I pre-cut it I'm going to give it a nice little massage there make sure that I cover the entire cardstock and what's really cool about background stamps that you don't actually need any uh, blocks or any stamp positioners and you can see we're going to be using some clear or white embossing powder and so I'm gonna add that embossing powder and I know it's hard white on white to see but it's gonna pop up it's gonna be kind of like a reveal coloring once we add our ink blending so I'm gonna cover it up with all these embossing powder we're going to heat set it set that aside and then we're gonna bring in again my die cuts that I had mentioned earlier we're gonna ink up the stamp gonna bring in the thanks and this is from Altenew but like I said you can use any die cuts and if you have a die cutting machine um, electronics such as a Cricut or Silhouette you can use the fonts in your computer to create some some really cool sentiments such as thanks or hello we're gonna stamp down that botanical background and then using some of this clear heat embossing powder we're gonna heat set that and you can even do some uh, heat embossing on the strip. So as I mentioned, I have some zigzag die cuts here. If you don't have any particular shape, you can just do some stripes. Just cut them out out of the white cardstock to be about um, the same length as your card. We're going to cover those with the same clear embossing powder. I've heat set the entire thing, so we are ready to do ink blending. So for this, we're going to be using the Wilted Violet and the Seedless Preserves. And I'm going to begin with the seatless preserves right in the center. It's a little more pink, not so much purpley. And as you can see, the roses from that botanical background are popping up. So it's like I said, a color reveal, bringing in wilted violet onto the edges. And I'm going to not focus on the blending too much, just because I really want to make sure that I saturate my cardstock here. I have fast forwarded just a couple seconds so you can see an actual process without having to wait 10 minutes for me to blend the card. So I did use clear heat embossing powder for this, which is really neat because um, the card stock's white, so it's going to be white. And by doing so, it is going to allow us to um, do use the same heat embossing powder for black card stock or white card stock, whatever it is that we're doing. I'm going to use the same colors for the little zigzag die cuts that I have. And I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not going to change out brushes and I'm going to add some of that color and I'm alternating with that wilted violet on the edges or in the center. And this is going to be kind of like a little decoration for the card and we're going to layer all these cool pieces. So once that's done, I'm going to bring in a dry cloth and I usually forget to cover up all my baby wipes <laughs> so that's what this is. this is a dried up baby wipe use something that's lint free and I'm gonna clean off all the excess of the heat of the ink blending as you can see how those really cool florals pop up now that everything's heat embossed and ink blended we're gonna begin by putting our card together so I have that thanks ready to go I'm gonna bring in my liquid mono adhesive and if I would have had some clear roller I would have used it but I didn't I ran out so I'm just gonna use some clear glue and adding it to the bottom bottom center parts of this of this thanks gonna add that zigzag right on the center and what this is gonna do it's going to really allow it to one it's gonna give it a little more um, shape to it it's not gonna be so flimsy and two it's gonna make it easier to attach it so I'm gonna add some of that foam and again hindsight if I would have had some clear roller adhesive I would have used that instead of the liquid that way my zigzag doesn't move on my thanks we're gonna remove that backing 
on those foams and I ended up cutting those in half just because you know we want to utilize what we got I'm gonna place that thanks right on the center and as you can see it made it really easy because it the whole thing attached to that bottom part we're gonna add some more of this clear glue to that zigzag and these are gonna go on the bottom on the lower level of that thanks and again it's just gonna give it a little bit of dimension and really coordinate the whole purple and pink ink blending we're going to add another piece of that zigzag i'm going to bring in my s and press that down and last but not least we are going to be embellishing with some black nouveau drops and as you can see here we have that clear heat embossing that turned white um, with that blended and then on the things you can see the clear heat embossing and and it just gives it a little dimension to that things and it, the whole thing comes up really nicely and I'm really loving this color combination. I loved it so much that we used it all stinking month, right? And guys, that does it for me. Thank you so much for joining me for the entire month of October where we have used the same color combinations and different so Unity Stamp Company supplies to make coordinated cards. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorials. Leave me a comment down below. All products are listed down below as well. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to give this video a like, a comment, and please click subscribe to support my channel and cards. We'll see you guys later. Happy October. We'll see you guys in November.